You know, when AI first burst on the scene, one of the things that was really interesting was style transfer. The idea that you could take an image and make it look like something completely different. And you know, early on, Snapchat came up with a filter that, well, let me look like a cartoon character. Now, of course, it's effectively, well, I guess you could think of it as image processing, but of course it's neural rendering. But in this case, in real time, and it looks like, hey, I'm a, uh, I'm a fun cartoon character. Most recently, we've seen Runway come out with Act One, which does a sort of advanced version of this. But you know what's really interesting about those things? They are still happening out of the neural rendering engine as effectively 2D outputs. Now, I don't know if you remember this video that we shot for Wonder Dynamics. You know, ever since we first heard about Wonder Dynamics, it's been really enthusiastic because basically it can do, well, this. It can turn anyone into anything, which is pretty bloody amazing. Okay, so when I shot that, Wonder Dynamics was basically taking me and turning me into a 3D model. And that 3D model isn't a style transfer, it's actually a 3D model. You can export it to Maya or to Blender or whatever you want. Well, today, the guys have gone a whole step further. They've done a dramatic increase to what can be done in this world of actually using AI and machine learning to produce what is effectively entire scenes, entire environments and characters in 3D from straight video. As you can see here, it's actually a model that you can get in and manipulate and adjust. You can edit, you can change. It's not just a neural render 2D output. It's the full 3D tool that of course naturally goes into Maya because Wonder Dynamics are now part of Autodesk, but also into Blender and into Unreal Engine. When we showed that to one of the guys here at our tech bunker, they actually almost had a heart attack. But here's the thing to understand. The guys at Wonder Dynamics are not trying to replace animators. It may look like that, but think about this for a second. What it's producing is a solution to that problem incredibly quickly. But then it's handing it back to the animators to be able to tweak it, adjust it, and produce the correct animation. And a really good analogy is to think of the fact that if you've ever dictated something into your Microsoft Word instead of typing, you almost invariably never get it right. You have to go and edit it. But if you're someone like me, sometimes it's much easier to dictate than it is just to sit and type. It's just a different way of starting things off. So yes, it will be a dramatic difference. And yes, it will require a lot of people to adopt new techniques, but it isn't meant to be a one button press replace everybody. It's meant to be exactly as it was with the original Wonder Studio, an amazing tool that gets you an enormous way there in the first iteration. So huge change to what's going on. And with the backing of Autodesk, it's going to have major impact, but it's not going to be a replacement for all animators. In fact, the guys are very adamant in the fact that they're building something for animators to use.